Randina, this was a big win for violence prevention programs throughout the city, but especially here on Chicago's south side. It's been hard, you know, just having to deal with that. Michael Burnett graduated from Simeon earlier this summer. He says like too many kids on the south side, he's faced a harsh reality. I lost a few of my friends to gun violence. I know a few people who have been shot at, and so I feel like people my age, even younger, they shouldn't go through those type of things growing up. Michael turned to brave youth leaders at St. Sabina for support. The violence prevention program brings people together to promote peace and change. These are alternatives. These are options for young people. We can't just keep telling young people what not to do and not give them things to do. This afternoon, Senator Dick Durbin toured the campus to learn how it's helping put an end to gun violence. You want to end gun violence in Chicago. The police have an important job doing that. We have an equally important job in programs just like this, making sure that we invest in young people and give them a fighting chance in their lives. This comes the same day Tony Preckwinkle announced a historic amount of grant money will help fund these violence prevention programs in Cook County. $75 million, $75 million. The money will be distributed to 68 different organizations like Brave Youth Leaders that offer an array of violence prevention services. Those include street outreach, case management, counseling and mental health services, employment support and youth programming. But at its core, violence prevention is about facilitating healing, building peace and providing support and resources for our historically underserved residents and the communities that they live in. Michael knows the impact this funding will have on his community and others throughout the city. If we had this going on in this area, there's no telling what other things people may be doing around the city of Chicago. So getting that exposed can really help make a change in the city. Organizations will receive their first allotment of that grant money next month, and then it will be distributed over the next three years. Reporting live at St. Sabina, I'm Kelly Davis, W.